just want attention You don't want my heart Maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new Hi everyone, it's Brooke here and today's video is going to be 7th grade advice And this could also be for 6th grade but my school, my middle school was 7th and 8th grade Is 7th and 8th grade, I'm going into 8th grade and I just wanted to give some advice for you guys because um I don't know, people have been like asking for this and I know a lot of my subscribers are either 6th or 7th graders so I just wanted to make this video for you guys. So these are just some tips on like how to get by and like worries and stuff that a lot of 7th graders have. So the first one is lockers. Um, for me, I was worried about lockers a lot like before school started but then um, the first day of school, not even, um, when we had our back to school house tour, I don't know what it's called, but that thing where you go back to school, you see all your classes and stuff, and they give you your locker combo and stuff, at least we have that at my school, um, I actually memorized it that day, <laughs> so I mean, in my opinion, it's really easy to memorize, some people had a lot harder time memorizing, I know that a lot of my friends had to ask the teacher for the key a lot so you know and like it got jammed a lot so like a lot of people's lockers got jammed a lot um fortunately for me my locker never got jammed and i actually had a really good locker experience last year so yeah so the next thing a lot of people worry about is gym and like changing in front of people in my opinion it was like i had um pe every day i had first period PE and don't be like I feel so bad for you. Um, actually, it was so much fun. I loved having PE every day, but I don't know. Some people don't like it. I don't know, but I got used to changing in front of the girls like a lot. You just have to wear like a sports bra. You know what I mean? Like, not like trying to be like you know weird about it, but like you just have to wear like a sports bra underneath your clothes so that when you change, you know you're not like half naked if you know what I mean and if you don't feel comfortable like wearing anything underneath you can totally go in the bathroom we had bathrooms in our locker room so we were allowed to do that and there's also showers nobody uses the showers like we have not we do not have enough time to use the showers but you could change in the shower stalls too the next thing a lot of people a lot of people worry about is the popular kids um and like being one and like dating and stuff like that so I'm gonna talk about dating next but right now popular kids so in my opinion you do not want to be a popular kid um, popular kids like I'm not trying to be like you know like mean if you are a popular kid or something but going into seventh grade everyone is kind of like they don't know their place so when they get to seventh grade they think they're so much older so then they start cussing a lot all the popular kids cuss all the popular kids have dates or like girlfriend and boyfriend even though like it's not real love like and some of them like kiss in the hallways it's so cringy to me but like because I don't think like real love is in middle school like I mean you could say it is but like I don't think so <laughs> unless you're like boy meets world or whatever but like that's very 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 unlikely so yeah I'm just saying um I don't think that being popular is very good. Next topic is dating. Um, I recommend that you do not date in 7th grade. Just saying because 7th grade relationships don't last long. Like the, la the, the longest one that lasted at our school was like 6 months. And then they broke up because of some random thing. I, I'm not into like all of the drama at the school. But um... Yeah, it's just, I don't think dating is a big deal. I mean, if you really like someone, then why not? I mean, you get experience or whatever. I don't know. I don't personally want to date until I'm in high school. Uh, maybe not even like freshman year. Maybe like when I'm older. Because, I don't know, I want to focus on academics and not like a guy. I don't know. I, I just don't recommend you date in middle school, especially since you could get in trouble at like after school things and stuff like that. And like parents don't always like it when you date when you're younger. So yeah, just saying. So the next topic is grades. So seventh grade grades, that sounds weird. Seventh grade grades are not the biggest deal. Um, I did not get the best grades, not gonna lie. My English grade was slacking 
very much like ooh, I did not have good grades at all but um I just I don't know um seventh grade grades they matter I just recommend you keep your math grade up because that um is a big deal like math like it puts you into like a bigger thing or like you get into algebra one or stuff like that like I'm taking a ninth grade course this year algebra one honors so yeah I don't know math is a big deal for me English not so much English can still be a big deal I just for us um the tests that we take at the end of the year they um it's just a normal seventh grade test but in math you take the grade up test like whatever math you're in you take that test if that makes any sense to you guys but that's how it is at our school so yeah i and like i did really good in history and that got me into civics uh honors so yeah i don't know um i feel like history and math are my biggest things that are going to be doing like really well in like high school and stuff so i just like find what you're good at and then like get good grades in that and don't find what you're good at in your electives like okay you could be good at theater or whatever and like get straight A's in theater but like that's not really gonna matter for like eighth grade in high school so yeah I mean have fun at those um at your electives like we have facts or home ec and I had a very fun time with that except for the teacher not gonna lie but yeah and also theater was so much fun so have fun in seventh grade and I didn't take Spanish seventh grade but I'm gonna take it this year so yeah, I recommend that you just have fun in 7th grade and then like worry about all the other stuff in 8th grade. So, and that was my advice for all you 7th and 6th graders. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and actually found it helpful. Um, I find these videos really helpful. I watched a lot of them last year. I was just so scared that I was just going to like, I don't know. I thought that, oh, excuse me. I thought that I was just gonna be like, I don't know, have no friends and stuff. And don't worry about having no friends. Honestly, there are so many people in middle school, if you're in a public middle school, that it's not like gonna be a problem having friends. I didn't really have friends going into middle school because um, the people that I was friends with like in sixth grade, they all left and like went to different schools and like some of them I wasn't really close to. Like my best best friend moved to go to a different school. So that was kind of sad, but I just met a lot of new people. Like I have two best friends now that never went to my elementary school. And I just, I think it's really nice. Just compliment them, compliment everyone, even if they're not nice to you, like kill them with kindness or as the notebook says, kill them with kindness so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos and more back to school with basic brook that's my hashtag hashtag bts with basic brook because my last video if you guys saw that um i was a very basic like the shirt you know <laughs> Go watch that video, it'll be up in the eye up there. And also go subscribe to my collab channel and my brother's channel. Both will be up there in the eye. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Also like this video if you're excited for middle school. Yeah, okay, <laughs> no, bye guys.